Hey everyone, welcome back. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Python uh, Dash app to the web using Python Anywhere. Now we're going to use this uh, cool platform so we can create our own uh, URL and then share our app with anybody around the world. The app that we're going to deploy today is this one. It has Dash AG Grid. It has a histogram and it's right now on my computer inside this uh, file dash app.py reading from an Excel sheet in the same folder. This Excel sheet right here, CSV sheet. I also have this uh, in my GitHub. If you want to follow along, don't forget to star uh, this GitHub repository. Uh, it's going to be under the video. Most importantly, in the description section of the video, I'm going to add this cheat sheet to help you follow along and then to allow you to use this in future video in future uh, apps that you deploy so you don't have to rewatch this video over and over again and we'll go to open an account on python anywhere so go to pythonanywhere.com open an account and after you verify your uh, email this is the first screen that you're going to see all right now we need to create a new web app so we're going to go to dashboard open web tab and add a new web app dashboard open web app add a new web app and here we're going to click next flask 310 flask you can choose a different python i want 310 and we can leave this um default path you don't necessarily have to change it i would recommend not changing it unless you know what you're going to do next and now you can see that it's going to create our flask app and you can actually go to the app right here open new tab and we have our basic flask app now what we have to do is to install the necessary libraries our app uses in this case dash and dash ag grids and pandas so let's go install these dashboard bash so let's go to dashboard bash I'm gonna start a new terminal and then we'll do pip install pandas now that pandas is installed we're going to install this specific version of dash you can always install regular dash uh, but I'm not sure it has the latest version so I want to install the latest version today 2.17 and then we're going to install a dash ag grid. There we go. Pip install dash ag grid. And once that is done, we need to upload our files. We need to upload the app file and the CSV sheet to Python anywhere. So let's do that. Files tab, my site. So let's exit this dashboard. Let's go to the files tab, my site. This was the default path. We're going to delete the flask app.py. We don't need it. This is a default app. So we deleted the app. Now we're going to upload a file, upload the a file button, and we're going to add our files. Upload file. Okay. And my files are right here. These two. Well, one at a time. First this. And then this. Perfect. Now that we have both files in there, we want to modify how the app reads the data. Our data is being read from a, a local CSV sheet, not online. So we have to change this by going into the files tab, my site, and then my app. So we've got to go into my app right here. Let's go into this for a second. And here we have to change this to to the path where the csv sheet exists and the path is right here you see we could take all of this home copy let's go here like that all right so we have home charming data my site and then the csv sheet so you just got to make sure you find the right path save and let's go back to the dashboard and now we want to edit the YSGI file, web tab, and the configure file. So let's go to the web tab, and the configure file is down here. And here we have to delete the last line and add these two lines. So I'm going to do this. 
delete this last line. We're going to say from my app name without dot pi. So what is that? My app name is called, remember my app was dash underscore app. So we're going to say without the dot pi dash underscore app import app from dash underscore import app. And then here we have to say application equals app dot server. Okay, app dot server. Now we have to save this. And last but not least, we have to reload our app. So we go to the dashboard, uh, web app, web, and then reload. Okay, that took about 30 seconds. Right click, open tab, and voila, here we have our app. Now we can add some username and password. Let's do that. Adam. High security, one, two, three, four. Enable. Let's reload. Wait another 20 seconds or so. And now, right click. Adam, one, two, three. Was it four or one, two, three? Perfect. And now we have our app. And that is it. So I have this uh, cheat sheet for you. Don't forget it's under the video. Uh, click the like button and uh, follow me on YouTube and join the Charming Data channel for more videos and monthly projects where we can work together improving our Python and AI capabilities. See you next time.